I'm John Bishop, and you're watching the Red Men TV. Hello, welcome to the Red Men TV. It's a transfer target focus number two. We're looking at Lazar Markovic, or the, or it's going to be known as Laser, basically, on Merseyside next season, if Liverpool sign him. He's currently playing his trade for Benfica over in Portugal. He's 20 and just 20, having turned that age back in March. Um, he's five foot nine inches tall, preferred position supposedly right wing, he can also play on the left, and again, according to numerous sources, he can play in that sort of second striker, number 10 role, which puts him on a par with the number of the players we've got at that sort of age, and ilk at Liverpool already. He, interestingly enough, only sat for Benfica last summer, for, according to transfermarket.com, 8.8 um, .8 million, which means... A potentially massive step up and, and, and something of a, I suppose, a, a bit of a meteoric rise. And you can say that's going to be three clubs in three years for a lad so young as well. Let's break down his season last year. Then he played a grand total of 45 times throughout the course of the season, scoring seven goals. That was 18 league starts, seven from the bench for Benfica. Four Champions League appearances, which is a very interesting thing with regards to Liverpool's upcoming season. Uh, eight Europa League appearances as well and made seven international appearances for Serbia. He missed <laughs> great, missed the Europa League final after a touchline scrap with uh, with Merko Vucinic uh, of Juventus. Amazing, exactly what we want when we're on the way on the verge of shipping out a controversial player who likes to stir up a few incidents. Uh, yeah, we started somebody missed the final, scrapping with other players on the touchline. Outstanding, but he was named in the Europa League squad of the season for 2013-14. So make of that what you will. Uh, Lubinko Drulovic if I've got that pronunciation wrong Serbians please do let me know in the comments underneath uh, his Serbian boss says Markovic made an excellent season at Benfica last year he evolved a lot Markovic could prove to be a very important player in Europe that sounds very very good that's a very very dull way of something saying something very very exciting um, <laughs> anyway let's look at his pros and cons first and foremost pros pace skill touch Cons, again, uh, similar to what we were saying about Origi, he's still a young lad, still got a lot to learn. Is he the finished article yet? Yeah, clearly not. And the other one, I think, has got to be the need to get more assists. But, you know, he scored a, a decent amount of goals, but you'd be expecting a similar return in assists if he's going to be playing in those attacking positions. So I think that's something that he definitely needs to improve on. So the link, the thing we all want to know, how close is he to Liverpool? Tony Barrett's reporting that Liverpool have bid 25 million. There's a, a Daily Mirror report that says... We're, I think we're having like a 19.8 million bid accepted and then there's other sources available that say he's actually got a 20 million pound release clause so basically proven that you know although the links to him are very very strong the facts on these things are, are often quite sort of thin on the ground the mirrors one the 0.8 makes it sound I think like it's more realistic but more interestingly than that the fact that 19.8 makes it sound like a steal, whereas like 25 or even 20 million sounds like we're spunking loads of money on it on a, a really unproven kid. Uh, but then again, this is the beauty of the silly season, is it? Anyway, in summary, uh, having having checked him out in detail by looking at videos on YouTube, um, basically looks like another example of YouTube scouting porn, um, which I've thoroughly enjoyed. Um, so yeah, check out check, if you if you haven't seen them yet, go and check out some videos. Let me know your thoughts on any of those highlight clips doing the round. Scout Nation HD, I've, I've seen a, a boss for it. That's a good one I checked out anyway. Let me know your thoughts. Is this the kind of player that Liverpool need? The reports in the papers are saying that this, you know, the, the only reason we're in for him is because Suarez is out the door. And I know when I said in Rig the other week that I thought Suarez would stay. Yeah, that doesn't look like it's happened, does it? Um, Nevertheless, is this the kind of player who make you feel better about the fact that Suarez is, is potentially leaving? Again, let me know your thoughts in the comments section. Underneath, uh, if you want more Redmen TV good this, this week, check out the redmentv.com. We're going to be doing a, a special show dedicated to um, Luis Suarez, and you know, as it does look as though he's going to be um, he's going to be playing for Barcelona next season. Something of a support group to get us all through and see how we're going to cope with him next season. Markovic is going to come up, of course. We're going to be talking about that in far greater detail, as well as the supposed completed sign of Ari and a whole host of other shit. So check out the RedmenTV.com. It's free for a month. What else are you going to do? There's no World Cup on at the minute. Come and check us out. You know you want to. Etc. Yeah, Etc. Et anyway, I'm Paul Mason. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up as well. And, uh, and if you don't see it. On the RedmanTV.com, we'll see you back here next week. Uh, let me know who you'd like us to discuss in the comments underneath. It's the Liverpool transfer target focus number one. We're looking at Divock Origi, the Lille and Belgium centre forward. He's age 19 